Hello everyone, my name is Kerr. When we all pass away, we expect to be put to rest in a graveyard or we get cremated. Sadly, some people don't get that leisure. The Jane Doe we are talking about today didn't get a choice. The Doe was discovered in a heavily wooded area and because of circumstances, it's a suspected homicide. With that being said, let's talk about the Samson County Jane Doe. On the 20th of July, 1999, a man was driving his all-terrain vehicle in a wooded area in the Timothy community. While driving, the man discovered a decomposed woman not 100 yards from the Eugene Roberts labor camp on East Street. Witnesses later stated they had seen the woman not long before she had died. To this day, the cause of death is undetermined, but it is considered suspicious. For Sampson County, Jane Doe's age was estimated to be between 17 and 24 years old. Her race was white or Hispanic, her height was 5'4 to 5'7 and her weight was unknown. Her hair colour was red and the description of her hair was curly and long. Her eye colour is unknown and she had a slim build with polish on her fingers and some of her toes. DNA and dentals are available but fingerprints are not and several sources say the Jane Doe's teeth were in good dental health. Samson was wearing a black top, green jeans, lavender panties and a dark blue bra. A pair of white flip-flops were located not far from the body. It's unknown if it's hers, but it is believed to be hers. A analogue watch was also found on the Jane Doe. The murdered woman has been ruled out as being the followed. Shannon Averett from Tennessee, born in 1977. Brooke Henson from South Carolina, born in 1979. Susan Lyer from New York, born in 1978. Corey Rubio from Louisiana, born in 1974. Patricia Skirman from Virginia, born in 1964. Tiffany Sessions from Florida, born in 1968. Laura Thompson from Pennsylvania, born in 1967. And Cindy Perry, born in North Carolina, 1967. I wasn't able to find any theories online, but I was thinking of two. One is that the Samson County Jane Doe was murdered by a family member or was out camping and got lost. There was no information about what was in the Jane Doe's stomach and we don't know how she died, so there is a chance that it might not be a homicide, but at the same time, someone being discovered in a heavily forest area does ring a few bells. If anyone has any information on this case, they should call the Samson County Sheriff's Office at 910-592-4141. If you have a tip, the tip line is 910-564-5261. If you guys have any theories about this case, please tell me your thoughts in the comments. This case is a true mystery to a lot of people and even myself. If you want to see updates and upcoming videos, take a look at my Twitter and Discord channel. Links to those will be in the description with all the sources I've used for today. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on a new video, consider subscribing. And thanks to all which have subscribed. And with all of that being said, hopefully one day the Samson County Jane Doe will reclaim her name. Good night.